The Met Office is the UK's National Weather and Climate Service. We're responsible for gathering the data uh, on weather and climate from around the world. We forecast the weather for the UK and the world for the next few days and few months, and we predict the results of our greenhouse gas emissions for climate change on into the future. And let's go and have a look at how we do that. So here we've got a whole array of instruments for measuring the weather here in Exeter. So measuring temperature, rainfall, wind speed, wind direction, cloud cover, visibility, all the things that tell you what the weather's doing right here, right now. The satellites are part of our global network of observations, uh, bringing together all the information about the weather and the climate around the world. So we can monitor what the weather is doing now to help us improve our forecasts and also so we can monitor changes which indicate climate change. Obviously working here, we're all very aware of uh, environmental impl implications of travel and the need to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, so uh, myself and many colleagues use sustainable travel such as cycling uh, or lift sharing or public transport and so on. Uh, and in fact, the, the Met Office has its own bike pool, so anyone that doesn't have their own bike can borrow a bike to get around on. So this is a piece of art uh, by a local artist, Matt Chivers, uh, and this represents the jet streams around the world, so the sort of particularly fast uh, winds high in the atmosphere, uh, and these control the, the pattern uh, and the pathway of storms coming across the Atlantic to us, for example. So the exact impacts of weather and climate change on the UK will depend on the shifting patterns of the jet streams in response to global warming. So here in the Met Office Hadley Centre, uh, we collate all the information from around the world which is monitoring the state of the world's climate so terabytes and terabytes of data enormous quantities of data maybe even petabytes of data from weather stations satellites buoys on the oceans all other sources of data we bring those together to monitor what's happening to the world's climate and capture the trends of climate and then we use computer models run on giant supercomputers like the one behind me which explain the causes of climate change and also project future changes so we can establish the impacts of climate change as a result of our ongoing greenhouse gas emissions.